Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. My name is Emilio, and today we're looking at VMware ESXi 7, and we're gonna go through the steps on how to be able to add RAM, add CPU, while a VM is running. Normally you have to power down a VM. We're gonna go through the steps on how to be able to enable your VM to be able to add resources while it's powered on without any outage. Also remember to subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Let's go through the guide right now. So I work in the IT industry, my name is Emilio and I absolutely love it. And uh, today we are looking at how to be able to add more resources to your VM while it's powered on. We're gonna now connect into an ESXi host. We're assuming you've got ESXi running, ESXi 7 fully up and running. If you don't, in my description, I've got a link on where to get ESXi 7.0 for completely for free for ESXi. And uh, we're gonna go through the steps on how to do that today. We're gonna log into my computer on the Mac, Windows, on a Linux, whatever it may be, open up your browser, connect to ESXi, and we go through those steps right now. So here we are logged in to our ESXi host. Uh, we've done this over a browser on a Mac. The process is the same if you do it on Windows or on Linux, just get yourself a browser, uh, whatever browser it is, and log into your ESXi host or vCenter via the IP address or the fully qualified name if your domain is set up uh, correctly, if your DNS is set up correctly. Now, once you're in, now we're doing this directly from an ESXi host, vCenter will be very similar, but what you wanna do is you want to, of course, navigate to the section that has all of your virtual machines listed. So right here under uh, my host, I've got all my VMs that are listed and running on my ESXi host. You may have a list of all your hosts um, listed in the, in the left side and you have to maybe go host by host to find the VM or they could be in a cluster, uh, whatever. Whatever the, the setup is, get yourself to your VM first. So by default, you have to have the VM in an off state to be able to add resources, to add CPU and add RAM. There's a catch, right? You have to be able to power the VM off to then add the resource, uh, add the functionality to be able to add resources and then you can power that VM back on. So right now, for example, I've got a DC01 here. I go to edit settings. So I can't go into here and actually change anything while it's powered on. So let's say, let's try this. So three, save, failed, right? Because it's, it's running, right? I can't do that. Edit settings, same deal with the memory. I can't actually change it while it's on. So you'll see that I've got a couple of VMs that are currently on. If I want to enable it for those, I'll need to shut the VMs down first. My case, I've already got my VM that I've selected, which is Win Server Win SVR 2019. This VM has been selected as the VM that I'm gonna be using for this test. For you, you'll need to shut down your VM first. Then we select our VM, we right click on the VM and we select Edit Settings. Under here, this is the standard area where you select uh, your resources, you can add things, you can remove things, you've got certain VM options as well, um, and this is really where you customize your VM itself. Now under the CPU and memory, you'll see that there's a little drop down arrow here, so I can click on CPU right here, and I've got an option, CPU hot plug, so I can enable CPU hot add, right? Pretty cool. Under memory, you've got under here, memory hot plug, enabled. So right there, I have now just enabled these two features for CPU to add and for the memory, the memory hot plug enabled and say save. You may see a status down the bottom of it doing its thing. Of course, it's reconfiguring certain elements there of the VM and then it should say completed successfully. The next step then is really, I can now power this VM back on and then while the VM is powered on, I'll be able to go into edit settings and change the CPU and the memory while it's powered on. But now with that hot swap uh, and settings enabled, I can. Quite a good feature. So there you have it, there were the steps. Uh, hopefully you're now able to uh, increase resources on your VM while they're powered on. Definitely a very, very cool feature, especially for VMs that you need to be able to increase uh, without any downtime to your VMs. As always, please remember to subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my tech video releases like this video, comment below. We'll see you next time. All the best.